you, Tommy. Thank you. Well, our first guest is Hosier. <laughs> Hello. Tell us, uh, tell us your story. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a musician. Um, no, I know who you are. Like, <laughs> okay. I didn't think you were the captain of the Longford under 21. Like <laughs> uh, tell us the story of what's happened to you over the past three years. Is it? Th three years. Um, when when, when did the taking to the church thing hit? Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was, um, I think I was, I was, it was 2013 when initially that was okay, put yeah. up online. Yeah, I think yeah. that's on. Um, and yeah, 2014, it, it started to kind of gain momentum. Yeah. It was late 2013. And then I was kind of on the road until 2016 on the first album. And started this tour for this record officially kind of late last year, just a few songs and then March, March. Uh, and do you have, uh do the energy uh, for all the gigging and the travelling and the hotels and the... Um, you do. It comes and goes and you mm. kind of... I think that's the, one of the hardest parts of it. Is you are tired a lot of yeah. the time. Um, and you sleep, you sleep on a move, in a moving vehicle a lot of the time. You know, yeah. you sleep on a bus, etc. cetera. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, you know, at the same time. And you're surrounded by very fun people who love what they do, so... How old are you? I am now 29 years old. Yeah, yeah. Um, and do you, like when you're on the road, would you, uh, would you take a pint and stuff? <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, a pint you... of Watts is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. No, you would, you would now and then. I think the first time around, definitely, there'd be, you know, you, 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 uh, you don't know the line until you've crossed it, I suppose, but uh, you, you test your limitations. Um, and also, you're, you're kind of more able for it a little, a little bit the first time around. Yeah. Everything's new to you. I was, coincidentally, this is a, a wild coincidence now, um, I was looking at the lyrics to Take Me To The Church mm -hmm. this afternoon, yeah. and I had never realised the kind of, the edge to them. Yeah. Uh, they're, I, th I think in the song, because the song has such uh, amazing momentum and chorus and build and release, you're kind of, I, when I hear it anyway, I'm kind of swept along by that. Rather than, but I saw, I saw the lyrics on the printed page and I thought, Jesus, now there's, there's razors in there, like, you know. <laughs> um, sometimes I wonder, the people who are anger at the church or anger at religion mm -hmm. is not too different to adoration. It's the, f it's, it's, it's the f other coin, other side of the same coin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, what was your? It's an interesting way to put it. You know, uh, I suppose I suppose it's it's expectation and like just as just on what you what you're saying, there's expectation, and there's dis and there's and there's those expectations being violated because you're expecting so much and you're you know this is especially when you consider when you're when the subject is uh, the concept of 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 infinite love and infinite kindness and goodness. Like let's say, but that's such but, a I mean that's a. Well, th I'm just, I'm just... That's a beautiful... No, I'm saying that's a beautiful... The, the, the fact that you can phrase it like that. <laughs> you know, I... the, like, someone might come on and say, well, there's no God, and that's <laughs> it. But for you to use the phrase infinite kindness and infinite goodness is... It's a lot, it's interesting. A, yeah, yeah, and it's a lot to live up to, I suppose, and it's a lot for any organisation that claims to be the representation of that to live yeah, up to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Um, so, but for me, it was more. It's not. It's not so. It's. It was never about f a faith as such, or kind of trying to point point the gun at faith, or point point a finger yeah. at a faith. Um, but you know what it is. It, you know the institutionalised well, uh, Roman Catholic Church is a, is a, is a, is a club of, of, of grown men and what they say about God and what they, sure, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, the legacy of that and the responsibilities of that and how it, how it has shaped our world and the experience of, of so many people, you know. Yeah, yeah there was, there's a lot of frustration in that song and a lot of kind of uh, uh, razors, as you put it, but um, it is a love song, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, does writing about, I think I, I think I heard some of the songs of the most recent album. Did they have a kind of a political edge to them, or am I misremembering no, that? No, so, so, some of them, some of them do. Yeah, um, it's a, it's a funny one. I can't. I don't know if I consider the second album is kind of a bit more light, a bit more. I I thought a bit more. The voice, anyway, the voices in it are yeah. a, th are a bit more light, uh, or a bit more kind of uh, are just having a bit more fun. <clears throat> I don't really, I don't really differentiate between a song that's political and a song that's not political, um, just because I, th I think most things are political, or it, most things have a political dimension to them. All things have a political dimension to them. Um, so if you're just if you're just writing a song about your experience. Of how things work, and I, one of my biggest influences would be folk music. Let's say, or just the the, the storytelling, like yeah. let's say, just the, just the kernel of storytelling. If you're, if it's a person given their experience, given a, you know, uh, this is what I do. The, here's a story. Let's say I, I I I walked this I walked this land and I saw this and I experienced this or I felt this. There's 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 there's, there's, there's politics has everything to do with that of of, yeah. of who you are and where you are and, and what you experienced and what you faced and um, so for me the, the, all art has a political dimension so but yeah a lot of the songs obviously were referencing song the album was called Wasteland Baby it was named after a song called Wasteland Baby which is this imagines the end of the world happening so in all sorts of different ways and, mm -hmm. and um, do you, do you enjoy being in Ireland more than being in the states? I, I, do, I do, yeah. I, I do. Home is home is home. So uh, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of wonderful things about about being in the states that you know. And first of all, I haven't found an audience there. Found yeah. such amazing support there. Yeah. And um, as it stands, you know, that's, I, I've made a very conscious decision to to live in Ireland and to mm. call, and to continue to call Ireland home. You know. Who's uh, who's at home now? Like who? Here in Ireland, yeah. Who's, who's your family? Uh, family, uh, my folks, um, my mum and dad, and uh, my brother also is based here in Ireland. What did your dad do for a living? My dad, um, my dad's retired now. Uh, he, when I was a kid, he, he would have been a gigging musician. He was a live musician when I was, you know, a very young child. You know, primarily kind of rock music, blues music, sort of great record collections. You know, and uh, what was the band he was in? He was in a few bands in Dublin. Um, one of them was called Free Booze, I think. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's great for posters. Like. Yeah, but, uh, uh, Free Booze. That's a great name. <laughs> yeah, totally. So it was a, a genius, uh, a genius, because people would see that on a, on, a, on a pub sign and just come straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, uh, just genius in it. So a lot of my earliest, you know, when I added, what had, had a tape player growing up, would have been. A lot of the, a lot, actually, to be fair, like a lot of the material that they were learning, like little mixtapes that they'd made for material yeah, yeah. for them to learn for different sets of different kinds, you know. And then his just his just record collection. Um, so yeah, great great musical influence there. Um, and what did your mom do? Um, artist, artist. She was kind of would have been a, a stay at home mom. She kind of kept kept uh, kept us all going. But they, she also very very arty kind of kind of. Uh, person would turn turn their hand to uh, to loads of stuff went back to study fine art a few years ago which is great um, and uh, how many brothers do you have just the one and what does he do he studied he was he's a produces film fantastic director producer and um, writes as well too so that has been that's been invaluable actually with music video and video content yeah to, to have somebody to bounce ideas off how uh, how relevant is the ability to be wise and clever in that social media world, as opposed to the genius of your music, it seems like is it a? How do you cope with that, or how do you it's move through it? It's a, that's a, it's a tricky one. I, I used to. Like would you uh, would you do tweets about Trump when you're drunk? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I, I avoid it. I managed to avoid it. Uh, as well, I kind of. I get very anxious going on the record over anything because, it, like you know, I, you know, even interviews like this, I suppose. Uh, but there was a time where I would enjoy, I would enjoy that a lot more. So, are you nervous about what you might say, and then that being interpreted by other people and they're turning into some internet thing? 
Possibly. There's, there's that. There's the fear of, of social reprisals. Or there's yeah. that. There's also just. I don't think you've said anything yet, really. I know, I it. <laughs> Give me time uh, to make an arse of myself at some point. Um, the. I think it's more. I think it's more. The more you try to explain yourself, uh, the more you'll end up being misunderstood. Anyway, you know. Th there's, yeah. there's part of there's a, there's, a, there's a, an anxiety there. I suppose. There's. I've kind. I've kind of managed to avoid it. There was a time when I would have. I would have been more active for putting my voice out there. There is for certain things that I would feel strongly about if they're, if in the case of like the, the marriage referendum here or, so, or something like that, if you have a platform and you, and you, you feel you, you can offer a signal boost to something in some way, shape or form in a useful way, yeah. But unless there's something that I think is, is, is very useful, I try, to, I try to be careful about what I, what I say. Isn't it funny, you know, because we're sitting here just chatting to each other and it's just two Irish lads Mm -hmm. having, uh, having, a, having, a, having a yap. Yeah. But I would forget them that you say something mm -hmm. and put it out there and it could turn into this yeah. colossal thing. It's kind of a... Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's, I'd say it's the same. I've, I've huge... I've, I was just chatting um, before coming on. Huge admiration for this show because it is just a chat. Like, it's a, it's a chat and, like, mm -hmm. you, you may not know me from Adam and there's, some, there's wonderful things that you... You find that you talk to the guest and find out about them in the same time that the audience does. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's something. There's no pretense of. No. Um, there's no pretense also of aren't you great? Aren't you wonderful? You, there's a reason. You know, we all we all know there's a reason you're here. It's this wonderful ex exploration of who this person is, and you and you you get. But then also, it's a, as you say, it's a, it's a chat. It's a, it's a it's a yap. Could go anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I'd say it's it's comedians also. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tricky. It's a tricky time. For the first time, everything's on the record for all time. Nearly everything we, we say and do. So I don't know. It's a, it's yeah, the, I think the difference with comedians is though that um, <coughs> I get in in our stage work, uh, we give ourselves permission to be disruptors and to say the thing that shouldn't be said. Yeah. Um, it's uh, and that can get you into uh, an awful amount of of trouble. And. <laughs> <laughs> But, but the, the, the funny thing about getting into trouble is nobody suffers as much, certainly with me, as I do mm -hmm. uh, when I get into trouble because I, I have so, I'm so sensitive as a human being yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that I feel huge amounts of, of guilt and, and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, um, how... how uh, you've no socks on. I do. <laughs> oh, I did this very small. Sorry. That's a real owl lad thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take him on, he's no yeah. socks on. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> how how would you be about singing a song now? So um, we were we were set to. I just I've just come in from New York. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. love to. I'm, um, I had a doctor call after the last before the last couple of shows because I was fighting away laryngitis. So yeah, I had yeah. a doctor come in to give us steroids. Yeah, um, you could still sing something. Just. <laughs> We don't bait it out. Just a soft, easy going. <laughs> in your normal talking voice. Like, I, no, I swear to God, we're, we'll not go to the church this evening. Like, <laughs> is there anything like just very gentle without pushing it? I understand totally what you're saying. But without pushing it, I, go on. You I can try it. Just yeah, versus something. I, w <laughs> I, w I wouldn't know what to. I wouldn't know what to sing. Suzanne <laughs> takes you down to her place near the river. You, you can, can hear the boats go by you. I'm not even warmed up. Spend, Spend the night beside her. And, and you know that she's half crazy. But that's, that's why you want to be there. And she, she feeds you tea and oranges that come all the way from China. And just when you mean to tell her that you have no love to give her, she gets you on her wavelength. And she lets the river answer that you've always been her lover. That was nice. I've never done that before. I've never done that. Thank you. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and, and in, in fairness, in, you weren't lying, we could hear the croaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Honesty is good. Yeah, Honesty. no, there was, a, there was, there was, but it, what, uh, what came out was soul and vulnerability. Uh, and thank you for sharing song, that. It's a perfect, perfect song choice. Nice actually. and easy. Yeah. So, what's your, uh, what's your schedule like over the next couple of months and stuff? Um, a schedule like, um, I have a quiet time coming up, which mm. is which is the first time in a long time. I've been out of a suitcase now for nearly 18 months. Mm. My next year is, very, is, is quite quiet, you know, so I, I'm going to just decompress and write. I, I find it very hard to write on the road. All right, yeah. So just to have that quiet in that space and be able to work on the next thing. Well, rest well, fella. <laughs> rest well, and thank you so much thank uh, you. for coming on to the show. That's Ladies nice and gentlemen. Thank you. Stay safe, stay safe. That was lovely.